Hey guys, Matt the Greeter here. Um, some of you enjoyed my time lapse of assembling the dough divider uh, head for the Duchess dough divider. Uh, so I thought I'd show you the completion of the, you know, what does it look like when it's actually on the machine and done. So uh, here are the, these are the little punch outs. The, the, each one of these will punch out a cube of dough. And uh, you've already seen me assemble the, uh, the whole thing in the time lapse. So I just, just left a few, there are 36 of them. So for each press, you get 36 cubes of dough. If you're making something like uh, pie crusts, you know, a uh, little one might take one cube of dough, a uh, large crust might take three. Once those are all put in place, then you have this. This is the main like skeleton of the head. So you have to kind of fit it over the, the plungers here. Sometimes they get a little awry, so you have to reposition it. So in the time lapse, it goes very quick. And you almost can't see the problem. Then when you get them all lined up, it goes in pretty good. Every part of this machine you want to keep your fingers out of. If you hear that little tiny crash, your fingers in there, it's going to hurt. So once the skeleton is on the top, then you take this heavy metal plate. This fits over and assures that all the plungers are lined up. Uh, perfectly vertically. Then you take this one. This one has little teardrop shaped things. Goes over the nub on the end of the plunger and then clicks and locks it into place. You stick them on, press it down. There's always one of them that doesn't, I see it went on easy that time, but usually you have to, there's one plunger that isn't in, and you can't get it to work. So you gotta find that one and kind of snap it into place. Then you have the final disc. This one has these dots uh, perfectly flat on this side, but on this side, they're indented to accept the end of the plunger or the end of the, we'll call it a plunger. That sits on top. Now you have these little guys and uh, you're screwing into plastic, so you have to make sure you're perfectly lined up or you'll strip things. So there are two of these and these keep the plates in the proper spot. And they can be a real pain sometimes because they wanna, they wanna uh, cross thread. You don't want them to cross thread. Sometimes just wiggle it around a tiny bit until it's on the right track. <clears throat> so here is this uh, unit fully assembled in the tray. So now what we have to do is the hard part, and that's put it on the dough divider itself. So we slide it in here. We pull it forward a little so you can see. Okay. So this has a plunger inside. Actually, let me take this out and you can see it. If I put this, push this lever down, then I can pull. I don't know if you can see that. See the little plunger coming down? Yeah. A little plunger there. That's what's going to grab on to the head. And again, uh, I'll just remind you that every little thing here is a pinch point. And if you pull this down with this heavy metal plate and then push this plunger, this will snap up. And if your fingers are in there, it'll break your fingers and maybe squash your hand. So you don't want to do that. So you slide this in, push the lever down so that the plunger, so that the stem comes down. You have to line it up 
because it's rectangular, it has to be able to slide in. Once it slides in, you spin the whole thing over, and now you have opposing rectangles, so it can lift the whole unit up. See that? So now it's pulling the head out of the tray. Big lever here. And then the last step really here is we have these. And these go through the, um, the head, the top plate, which doesn't come off the machine easily anyway. And that just keeps the plates, the top plate that doesn't come off, like it's a, little, a safety precaution. It's probably not going to fall off, but if it did, you'd be, uh, you'd be taking a little trip. And once those are in, you're good to go. When you're gonna, when you're gonna get started, just watch your fingers. That's all I can say. So there it is, the Duchess dough divider unit. All your fancy warnings, and that's just one of the one of the machines we use here at the bakery. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, I'll see you soon. All right. That's my beard mask. All right. Matt the Greeter, I'll talk to you soon, bye.